Hi, I'm Sully. Welcome to Big Screen Nation. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a film called Extraction. This is the recent film, Extraction, starring Chris Helmsworth, and it's on Netflix now. Right, I'll give you my, my thoughts on extraction. First off, the film is about a soldier who goes out to extract a boy who's been kidnapped by a boss of a particular area. Yeah, it's, it's in, it's, it's, I think it's in India. I can't remember exactly where it is. One of these Indian, one of these Asian countries. And he's gone in, he's been set of tasks to collect this boy and rescue this boy and bring this boy, you know, out of the area. But what happens is that things don't go according to plan and the city gets locked down and they go searching for um, this, this soldier who's played by Chris Hemsworth and this young boy who has been extracted from his kidnapping. Now, the reason why this boy is important is because he he's a son of someone who the who who the person who runs the area basically wants and the best way to get to him is to have his son. Anyway, right, so this film is like it's like John Wick without the wick. No, no, that's wrong to say. It's like John Wick without the story. You know, John Wick has got quite a good story in there, which kept me watching for three parts. This film, Extraction, has got the action like John Wick, but it doesn't have the story behind it. So... You know the stories. It's it's like it's like it's almost like the story's like a nineteen eighties type action movie, where you know there's a lot of shooting, a lot of killing, out, and the story's so simple: pick up a boy, rescue the boy, and get the boy to the like to safety. That's basically that is basically it. That is basically the film. You know, it doesn't get too technical, too deep with any other storyline. It's just basically that. You know, that's why I say it's kind of like 1980 style and the action is like John Wick. It's like John Wick. Yeah. It's like creative ways on how to basically beat the hell out of people, you know. And I used to be a big action film fan and I did like the action in this film. Yeah. The story's not sustaining, but the action was amazing. I mean, there's a really good bit in the film where... He's running with this. Uh, he's running with this boy. The city's on lockdown. Um, the boss of the area has got holy police and and SWAT teams and other people after you know this soldier who's rescuing this little boy. And it's literally they shot it so well. They shot it like um, nineteen seventeen, yeah, where you feel like you're actually running behind um, both of them, and then it's like. They split up because of certain action scenes and they can't stay together and they've got to split up while, you know, say the soldiers beating up people, the boys trying to escape, they're trying to get the boy. But you're you're like you're following one of them. And then when it meets up, you see both of them together again, then you end up following the other one off. Then you end up with them all over together again. It was a really good scene. A really good scene. I think that scene actually made the film for me. And there was a surprise in the film. One of the bad guys in the film seemed to kind of surprise me to find out that he's not actually really a bad guy, you know. But when you think about these action films, they're all bad guys, they're all killing people, yeah. But, you know, in these classic films, it's like you've got the goodies and the baddies and, you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, it was really, it's a really, it's a really action-packed film. And I'd advise you, if you love action films and you're not really too interested in the story, I tell you, you'll give this film five stars. If you're someone that, you know, likes, like me, likes, you know, action, 
yeah but also you love a really good story then you know like for me myself I can't give the film the full top ratings but Chris Hemsworth was his acting was amazing you know the fight scenes were amazing you know the creativity of what the Russo brothers did when they put this film together was really great you know um, one of the scenes you see in a trailer, which I didn't watch the trailer until after I finished watching the film, but you know there's a tr there's a scene in the trailer which is in the film where he kind of jumps off this rock in straight down into water and meditating. I thought from that scene, I thought they were gonna see some more amazing stuff, but um, it felt it had like a modern day version of a 1980s feel to him in the way how the action was, but. Overall, I would actually give the film three and a half. I'll give the film three and a half out of five. I say it's worth watching. It's on Netflix. I mean, loads of people have been calling me, talking to me about this film, saying, "What do you think of it? What do you think of it? What do you think of it?" So I've been just sharing my views with them, and I thought, you know what? Let me just get this out to the people. Let everyone know what I think about it. Um, that's it in about six minutes, really. Um, I'll stop right there. If you like my quick review on extraction, please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So when you see more of my videos, you can watch and share again. You know, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. And also, as you can see with my hair, I need a good barber. But the problem is, because the world's on lockdown, I can't get myself a barber. And sadly, I lost my shaver on the bus. So I'm a bit stuck right now. So if next week you see my next review, you see my hair's a bit madder, and you say, why can't you get a haircut? <sighs> I'll just try combing it more. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Stay safe.